as the Lord Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, who did sin, the man or his parents? The disciples were alluding to the concept of generational curses in the book of Exodus, where God said that he visits the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. However, this was specifically dealing with the iniquity of idolatry that applied more to the nation as a whole and not so much to individuals. That concept did not apply in this situation. So the Lord Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents. First of all, he was born blind, which means his blindness could not possibly be a consequence of any sin he had committed. In regards to whether it was a consequence of his parents' sin, in the book of Ezekiel, the Lord declared that the son shall not bear the iniquity of his father. So what was the cause of this man's blindness, if it wasn't due to his own sin or the sin of his parents? The answer is, he was formed and made by God that way that the works of God should be made manifest in him. The precept here is if a child is born with a certain impediment, it is not because of the child's sin or the sin of his or her parents. That impediment is an opportunity for the power of God to be made manifest 